Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome back to another episode here of Let's Play Minecraft. Thank you so much for all of the wonderful support you guys showed on the second episode. I very much do appreciate it. Of course, if you guys want to continue supporting the series, the best and easiest way to do so is simply to drop a like. But of course, if you want to go one further, use code Python when ordering any sneak energy drinks or at the time of this video being made to get 10% off when ordering any of my Apex gaming PCs. So, a nice little snoozy before we get into the episode here, my friendo. Since the last episode, all over pretty much done he's gone ahead and begun smelting a whole bunch of stuff in fact we've got some more stuff to smelt up we've got a new pickaxe to make we've got some torches to make as well because ladies and gentlemen today is exploration day well at least partly exploration day depending on how it goes because mr parrot i think we need to go get ourselves some potatoes and or carrots and probably the best way of getting them is from a village. And you know what? In the very first episode, we did see a savanna biome in the distance. So I think what we should do is head on over there and see if we can't find ourselves a village. And you know what? We're going to bring our parrot with us as well. We're going to be the pirate pythonator today, my friendo. So yeah, I'm excited for this one. I do love a good exploration episode at the end of the day. So I'm excited to see what kind of things we can find if not just a village. Right. While we're here though, we might as well go ahead and do a couple couple of things. The first one being get a proper bucket, you know, one that doesn't have an axolotl in it. And also we've got ourselves a replacement pair of shears as well, just in case we need to go ahead and pick any foliage up, I guess. Uh, yeah, that's probably a good idea. Anyways, uh, what I also want to do is make an anvil and get a little bit of sharpness to put on my iron sword. I mean, at the end of the day, it's a book. It's there. I'm going to use it. So let's go ahead and do exactly that. So putting it down, we go ahead and do this. Only two levels needed. There we are. A slightly more powerful iron sword. All right. A little bit of water, a little bit of food on us, replacement tools if we need them. I think we're just about ready to do this thing. So let's see about finding that savanna biome. I really hope that there's going to be a village in there because if there is a village, then there's almost certainly going to be potatoes and carrots and who knows? knows what other crops and various other bits and bobs it may have. Maybe we find a village that's got a blacksmith house and it has a bunch of ingots, maybe some diamonds in it. I mean, there's so many things that villagers are good for. And then in terms of the savannah itself, we can find donkeys, we can find horses, we can get a new type of wood to build with, acacia of course. Like honestly, when it comes to early game, you can pretty much find anything and be happy with it. Later down the line, you start to think, oh, I don't really need this thing anymore. But at the start, of the game. Oh no, it's more like, dude, I'm gonna grab all the things. Oh, animals. I forgot about these guys. I need to make a bit of a pen for each of the animals. I mean, mostly we just need sheep and cows because they give the most useful stuffs, in my opinion. Leather and meat, and then obviously wool and meat from sheep. Although then again, maybe a chicken or two might also be a good idea because yeah, chickens also give some pretty decent stuff at the start, right? Feathers, feathers are pretty useful for arrows. But all of that is stuff that we could do a little bit later down the line. Ah, there it is, the savannah. All right, let's go ahead and explore the this bad boy. Look at it. We've got horses already. Fantastic. Now, if only we could find ourselves a bit of a horse kit, that would be beautiful. I mean, a saddle, some horse armor, both of those together, I would consider a kit. So let's see if we get lucky. I'm pretty sure you can find saddles inside of the leather workers' huts. So if we're lucky, we might be able to get ourselves a saddle at the very least, eh? Alrighty, time to start gathering materials. We'll go ahead and get ourselves a little bit of wool so we can make some carpets and make our home feel a bit more homely, you know. We'll go ahead and grab ourselves some acacia wood and saplings so we basically have a whole new set of blocks to build with. Yeah, a few saplings here and there and we basically have a renewable source of acacia now. Haha, <laughs> fantastic. Oh, even more fantastic. Check it out, guys. We got a village. Not quite an acacia village, but uh, I will take it. I am definitely not going to complain about this. And... By the looks of it, at a distance, I do believe there is, in fact, a blacksmith hut. Oh, this is great. This is great. Also, 
Pumpkins. Maybe that's a different kind of food source we could go for. Pumpkin pies. We get sugar from sugar cane. We get some eggies from chickens and pumpkins. And then we can make pumpkin pie. And they restore a pretty surprising amount of hunger, actually. Ah, oh, dude, honestly, my head is absolutely swirling with ideas for things we could try and do in this series, man. Ha! Oh, I love it when I feel like this. I feel like I'm unstoppable right now, dudes. <laughs> oh, you love to see it. Talking of sugar cane. There we are. We can make a nice little rudimentary sugarcane farm back at base, huh? Yeah, love it. Also, check it out. We got some cropsy doodles. All right, what do we got here, huh? We're looking. Oh my goodness me, we've got just about everything you can think of here. I mean, I think the only thing I haven't seen so far is beetroot seeds. But then again, I don't really think I'm too fussed about beetroot, if I'm honest with you. But then again, if we wanted to go for the balanced diet advancement, we would need to have beetroot, right? Uh-huh. All right. Well, mate. Oh, wait, 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 wait. There's one. Yeah. Well, that's the crops goal complete. I'm going to go ahead and take a bed for myself here. Yep, I did just rob this village of a bed and all of its crops. But do you know what? It is what it is. Don't get mad at me, Iron Golem. Like, really, please don't. Because you will probably kill me in, like, one shot. So, um, we're cool, right? We're cool? Yeah, we're cool. Ah, you're a good lad, aren't you? Ha <laughs> ha, protecting the village. What a champ. I just realized there's actually two bells in this village. You know what that means. I'm going to rob this one and then leave the other one. Yeah, we're still cool, yeah? So yeah, this yellow bed can essentially be our adventure bed. Uh, I mean, why not? Yeah. I like it. Let's take it. It's mine. I mean, technically it was robbed. But then again, the doctor kind of robbed the TARDIS in Doctor Who. So, yeah, no one cared about that, did they? So, why should anyone care about this bed being stolen? Right? You saw nothing, didn't you? You saw nothing at all. Anyways, back to it. We need to try and find that blacksmith house and see what we've got going on inside of it. Let's see if we can make a nice easy way of getting up there. There we have it. Oh, hay bales. Cool. Very, very cool. All right, I'm pretty happy with that, actually. Uh, we've got some more crops going on, which is fantastic. We've got a grindstone, which I absolutely will be taking because I don't have one yet. And here we have it. What do we have here? Wow, that's really all the blacksmith had? Usually there's like iron ingots and iron pickaxes, maybe a stray diamond or bit of obsidian. But no! I mean, I'm not going to complain about it. It's still food at the end of the day, but still. Come on, man. What's up with that? <laughs> yeah, might as well take these bad boys. Not only are they good for bread, but also you could use them if you want to negate some fall damage. You could also use them as a thatched roof material. I mean, there's more uses for hay bales than you probably realize. All right, all that's left to check out is this big old house over here, which I do believe might be a library. I hope it is, because I would love that. Ah, well, that's sad. It's not. It's just sort of an NPC hotel kind of dealio. Uh, all right, some more bread, some more potatoes, some more slaplings, and some dandelions. There you go. You can have the flowers outside the door there. So, yeah, that's pretty much that village ransacked and taken care of. Uh, is there much else going on around here? I'll tell you what, though. There sure are a lot of horses around here. <laughs> it's going to take a while going ahead and seeing which one of these is the best. But that's a bridge we'll cross when it comes, Hey guys, I just remembered something. You know what else spawns with villagers? Cats. Ah, uh, are there any little fishies around here that I could pwn? If we get a little supply of salmon here, it's possible to get ourselves a kitty cat. I mean, I love animals in real life, so why would I not go for a kitty cat, huh? We've got a parrot. We're going to have ourselves a kitty cat. We might as well get a dog while we're at it if we get a supply of bones. So, yeah, we're going to have the whole shaboodle. Oh, kitty cats, where are you? I'm going to find you. I'm going to tame you. We're going to be bestest buds. Oh, and it starts raining. What is this, Britain? Ugh. Oh, what the? Really? That is an incredibly short distance between villages. <laughs> wow. Well, alrighty then, Minecraft. I guess today really is exploration slash villager ransacking day. Uh, yeah. Oh, there's a baby donkey. Hey, bud. 
Oh, you are actually adorable, bro. Oh, all right, come on. So at the very least, there's a lot more bigger houses here and houses that actually serve some kind of usage. For example, the stone cutter. Yeah, nice. I mean, I did just rob a stonemason of his job, but uh, hey ho, look at this. We got one. It's kitty cat time. Kitty, kitty, cat, cat. Kitty, cat. Kitty, hello. Hi. Come on. Be my friend. That's it. Be my... Ah, oh, darn it. You don't like it when I break grass, huh? Hey. Come on. We're going to try this thing again. Ah, oh, darn it. Oh. Yay. Got him. Also, there's a jelly up here. There's a jelly cat. There's a jelly cat. I got a giddy. Come on. I'm going to tame all the cats. Hello. Hi. Yeah. <laughs> we got two cats. Oh, dude, this is brilliant. This is absolutely br What? What? Okay. I unintentionally bred them as well. Oh, this is just amazing. We've got a family of cats. I never thought I'd get so emotional and happy over some little block Minecraft cats. <laughs> Anyways, back to some villager ransacking. I don't feel like a terrible person or anything. Don't worry. We're cool. We're cool as well, right? The Iron Golem from the other village hasn't been uh, spewing some lies about me, right? Yeah, we're cool. Okay, good. Good out. You know what? I think we need to go to sleep real quick. <laughs> Get rid of this rain, get rid of this night. Oh my god, there's a cat in my face. I mean, as episodes go so far, this has just been marvellous, hasn't it? Yeah. Oh, hey, emeralds. Nice. Got some bapples. Nice. Okie McDokie. Pretty happy about that. All right, we can actually now go buy some stuff if we wanted to. Who's purring? Oh. Okay. Yeah, sure. You do you there, kitty cat. You do you. I'm not going to disturb you. You just do your own thing. I mean, that's just what cats kind of do in real life, isn't it? They do their own thing. Oh, cool. Maps. Nice. This is big, actually. We can now make ourselves an adventure map if we really wanted to. Oh, goodness me. Our inventory, though. I want to take all the things here, my friendos. But my poor inventory is so full. Goodness me, what do we chuck away here? I want it all. Do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to combine these together. There we are. And then I'm also going to combine these shears together. Yeah. Yeah, Python's being a smarty pants. Fantastic. Another stonemason height. We've got ourselves... What's this? Oh, we've got a blast furnace. Hey. I absolutely do want that bad boy. Uh, right. Oh, 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 my inventory. All right, get rid of the wheat. We can just get more wheat from the hay bales. We don't need to worry about it. We've got ourselves a random chest. Okay, very nice. And what's this? A third stonemason hut. Goodness me, how many masons are there? Well, all in all, this has definitely been a good village to go through. Yeah. All right. I think we're just about good, guys. So one of the kitty cats is still on a bed in the village, huh? Well, do you know what? He can rest there forevermore. We could just breed you guys up when it comes to... Oh, never mind. He's here. Yay! We got the whole family! Yeah! <laughs> do you know what, guys? As we make our way back to base, the idea of getting a doggo to really complete the trio of pets here, I feel like would be a nice way to go. Huh? Maybe that'll be an episode end goal. We need to go and get ourselves some bones, first of all. But that shouldn't be too difficult. We just wait for night time to come and go for a bit of a skeleton rampage. For now, though, let's offload all of our stuff back at base. Because, uh, yeah, there's a lot of stuff here. To lose any of it would be rather unfortunate. Doggy! Oh, I wish I had a bone. Oh, goodness me. All right, real quick, real quick. Uh, coordinates taken. 120, 170. Rounded. Okay. <laughs> we got to come back here with a bone and get that guy. Come on. We got to get a trio of pets going on, huh? There's another doggy. Oh, oh you're so adorable. Oh, they're so adorable, though. You know what we should do? We should try and get breeding pairs of all of the pets. Two doggies, two parrots, two kitty cats as well. Yeah. I mean, obviously, we've already got the kitty cats done. We just need two doggos and another parrot. And then we really are good. And at the end of the day, it does kind of go towards this advancement here. Two by two. Breed all the animals, huh? I don't think I have ever completed that one before. So who knows? This may be the series where I do it. All right, kitty cats. Welcome to your brand new home there, Budskies. Come on. Y'all better get yourself in here. There you go. You can all sit down. Uh, uh, you all need to come in, ideally. 
Come on. In you come. Hey, Jelly. How's it going, buddy? Right, now we need that white one to come in as well. Come on. Oh, look at them. My little family so far. <laughs> oh, that's actually adorable, dudes. Ah, nighttime rolls around and so does my ability to pwn a bunch of skellies. We need to get some bones, my dude. So let's go hunting. You know what's going to happen though, don't you? Because we're actually looking for skeletons, they just won't show up. They're going to be too scared. They're going to be running away. They're not even going to spawn in because they're scared. Ha ha! I spoke too soon. Ha! You're going to die. Give me your bones. Oh, goodness me. There's a creeper. No, 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 no. Big no nos. Go, go, go on. Perish. That creeper needs to go away. <laughs> I don't want him near me. Is five bones enough? I don't know. Maybe we go for a little bit more. Oh, hang on, hang on. Those two are battling it out, which gives me a chance to go ahead and bone this guy. There we are. And your reward, good sir, is death. There we are. What have we got now? 12 bones? You know what? For two wolves, I think that might do the job. I certainly hope so, because I'm about to go to bed and get rid of this deadly night. I like how the cat has pretty much claimed a bed, so that means I now have to sleep in this bed. Ah, oh well, there's worse things to cry about, isn't there? <laughs> Cool. All right. The time has come, ladies and gents. We're going to go get ourselves a couple doggies. Well, at least I hope we're going to get a couple doggies. I mean, 12 bones. We should be able to get at least one doggy. So here's hoping that my potential doggies here will love me as much as I'm going to love them. Come on. Be good. Only take one bone each. That'll be lovely. Hey there, little bud. What can I do for you? One, two, hey. Okay. Pretty good. Let's go get the other one. Oh, there it is. Yay! Breeding pair of doggies. Oh, dude, this is fantastic, though. Like, really? <laughs> this is brilliant. All right, we get these two back to base. And just for the sake of being a completionist, we might as well go for a breeding pair of parrots as well, huh? So... Let's do this thing. Again, most people would probably have diamond armor, maybe even netherite by now in their Let's Plays, but no, the Pythonator on his third episode seems to be focused more so on getting breeding pairs of pets. Um, yeah. Okay. I mean, you can't say I'm not unique in the order I play Minecraft in, right? <laughs> Alrighty, let's see if we can get lucky with finding a parrot and then we'll pretty much be done for the episode, I would say. Just a nice big exploration episode with a little bit of uh, pet taming coming into it as well, because why not? I mean, who doesn't love having pets in Minecraft, eh, guys? Come on, you gotta love them, eh? Go on, somewhere among the top of these here trees, there's gonna be like a little colored speck which will represent where a parrot is. In fact, if my eagle eyes are telling me anything, it's that on the right-hand side of the screen right now, just below the middle, I can see a grey speck. I believe that may be a grey parrot. Oh, I think it is. I think it is. Oh my goodness, we've got to find a nice safe way to get down there though. <laughs> goodness me. Well, this is going to be dangerous. <laughs> Yep, made it. Got him. All right. Uh, is that like a safe-ish way of getting over here? I might just have to kamikaze this and take the damage. <laughs> Got him. All right. Please. Oh, huh. That didn't take as many seeds as I first thought. Welcome to the clan there, little buddy. You were the final pet I needed. All right. <laughs> Let's get you back to base and meet your brethren. And there we have it. We've got a breeding pair of parrots, a breeding pair of doggos, and a small family of kitty cats. <laughs> I must admit, when I started off this episode, I did not intend on having this goal here. But uh, there we are. I mean, it's like an animal lover's dream right here, isn't it? So there we are, my friends. Some much-needed exploration, some very much-needed crops and other resources we now have, which is beautiful. So I think it is time to wrap up today's episode. But as always, we've got the comment of the day to do. So let's get it done, shall we? Coolest pet in town says, I can totally see a civilization or town being built here. Let's come up with some names for the Pythonator if that's the case. Case. Been a fan of your channel for nearly four years, watched every Minecraft episode. Hey, thank you so much for that, buddy. I really appreciate the continued support. As for coming up with names for this eventual town, I think that's a fantastic idea. So, pass.
passing it off to you guys watching the video. What do you guys think we should name this area? All right, leave your suggestions in the comments area below. And then eventually I will go ahead and pick out the name I like best for the name of this town here. But for now, my friendos, thank you very much for watching. If you guys have enjoyed today's nice chill episode, chill exploration slash animal taming episode, I'd very much appreciate it if you haven't already. If you guys would drop a like on the video, hit the subscribe button and don't forget to ding that bell if you don't want to miss out on my future content. But for now, my friends, thank you very much for watching. Thank you for all of your beautiful support throughout this series. I very much do appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.